What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode. This week's episode is going to be a little different. Unfortunately, we've had the worst weather. Literally, I think the most rain I've ever seen since I've moved back to Alabama. So, with that being said, we had no content to film. I literally haven't ridden all week. I've been in the shop. Please hold. She's probably all dirty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Say hello! My lovely wife, Kelsey, had a great idea of fashion tips for beginning BMXers. Beginner, beginner BMXers? People who are new to BMX. I just think, okay, what if we were just like all of a sudden like, you know, there's a professional bowling arena near us. Let's start bowling. Okay, what do I need? What do I, what do I wear? If I was to start BMX, like I wouldn't know, like where do I buy a jersey? Do I just get my bike from Walmart? Do I get my jersey from Walmart? Do I go to Dick's? So we're gonna go over that. We're gonna teach you guys how to look good, whether it's your first race or you've been racing for a little bit. And we're gonna make sure you're checking all the boxes so you're looking good when you get on that gate. You have to just so flow. So we're down and go yeah, down. Yeah, flow all in one flow. Oh, oh, that was a good that moto. Yeah, good moto. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Anyways, let's get into this. First up, we have new uniforms, courtesy of Fly Racing. I'm just gonna lay it out. Okay, but I do have a general idea now from watching you. Mm -hmm. How do you spot a new? Present yourself. Wow, wow, wow. Does that look good? I'm all murdered out. First of all, your helmet's not even buckled. What? Why do I need, I'm not going and riding. Well, we're, they don't know that. For the kids who have trouble strapping their helmet, these little quick release mounts are a game changer. I've literally been recycling this one for years. All right, let's get into it. First off, give me a 360, turn around fully. Mm, what do we see? What do we see already, kids? And if you don't see it, you're probably the kid that does it. Then you need to watch this video. <laughs> see how the goggle strap is way too low. Which actually, as much as it actually looks goofy having a low uh, goggle strap, the helmet actually has a groove in the back so it sits properly on your face. If it sits in the groove that's made on the helmet, the goggles pull on your face evenly. If you pull them down to your neck, you're gonna pull the goggles this direction and they're not gonna sit on your face properly. I see this one all the time at the track. This is the Fly Racing Works helmet. There's a groove here and a groove here. That's where you want your goggle strap. Your goggle strap should never be down here by your neck. One, like we said, it doesn't allow your goggles to sit properly. Two, you're that guy with the goggle strap all goofy. Sorry to say it, every one of the pros behind the starting hill sees the guy with the goggle strap too low. Figure out where it goes, fill it with your fingers, know it, and leave it in the right position. So we're just gonna work our way down, head to toe. Out of all this, these are the two most important. Having your goggle strap right, and second, your visor. Pop that visor up, kids. Not only does this just look really goofy, you don't I want. Can, yeah, I could see it. Yeah, let's let's just go all the way down. No one wants to be this kid. You know, you don't want to be that kid. Pop that visor up. One, this looks so much better. Two, exactly what Kelsey said a minute ago. If you've done any of my coaching clinics, one of the first things I say is. Head up, we're looking in the direction we want to go. So if Kelsey is coming out of a turn like this and looks up and she's seeing the bottom of her visor, that's that much further down the straightaway she could be seeing. All right, so I have a question regarding that. Okay. What's the point of it? What's the point of what? The visor. No, we just we just don't know. Cause, cause that's but what, I can't cause see it. it. Just because it looks Cause good? Because it looks, because we don't race, we don't ride bowling balls. That's like a big bowling wire. Well, we all do that. I know somebody named Bar Wayne who doesn't have a visor. He's got a little visor, actually. Uh, okay. And kids, if you have your helmet too loose, it's you might as well have it undone. You have you don't have to have your your strap tight right against your jaw, but you want to have enough where you can't pull your helmet off. If you can pull your helmet off, that means your strap is way too loose. And if it's way too loose, say if you go on the turn, you hit elbows with another rider, and you high side, and one. Hopefully it doesn't come off right with the first sling, but if you hit your head on the asphalt turn and then bounce or whatever, I've seen helmets go flying, whether it's in turns or straightaways. 
And kids, that's just... Protect your dome. Yeah, just protect your dome. Like, I've been doing this a long time and I have hit my head way too many times. Fortunately enough, my parents always made me wear a helmet, so I was always pretty good about that. But I never I never used to think like like I always when I was younger would think, Oh, it's kinda lame to wear your helmet until I saw you hit your head so many times and how gnarly the effects are with the helmet on. Never in my life will I not wear a helmet. You scared no. me. Just wear your helmet. I know you're always wearing your helmet when you're at the BMX track, but just wear a helmet all the time. Dirt jumps, pump track, whatever. You can hit your head anytime. Okay. Anyways, what's what next? What's next? Um, I personally have a question. Okay. Is this supposed to be really loose? Is it supposed to be really baggy? I would say that's preference, but when it comes to a loose fitting jersey or a tight fitting jersey, one, I don't like loose arms. I don't like riding and feeling it loose. So I like, that's why if you see me for years, I've always pulled my sleeves up. I pull them up my forearms a little bit. It still covers my elbows. That way everything is like tight and nothing's loose. Because if anything's loose, you're taking a chance of like a bar in. If I come over here and Kelsey and I are battling or say, someone's in front of me and my bar in clips her side and I'm, I can, oh. yeah, your bar, especially with the rubber, if you don't hold onto the edge of your grip, yeah. you have rubber ends and rubber is grippy, right? So like if you crasher. have, yeah, if you have a little bit of grip hanging out of your bars and, or someone else does it, hits your grip, it's gonna pull, pull on your bar. Obviously that's always preference if you wanna have a tight jersey or not, but yeah, I like them pretty snug because I don't want anything loose and hanging and, and at the same time, that's wind drag, you know? if you have a big jersey, it's like a big parachute going down the track, so keep that in mind. You can even tighten it up by tucking your shirt in, but I'm five foot six. I actually use the Fly Racing size small jerseys in all their model lines, so. All right, what now? Um, Any more questions? Look at how time? baggy my pants are. Is this just cause, like I would like, okay. preferably like leggings. What model is it? Let me look. Let me look right here, right here. Oh, we still got tags. The light. So this is the Fly Racing light pant. This is actually a motocross pant, and that's because of this leather patch right here in the knee. I'll show you a little secret what I do with this leather patch. I almost don't like saying this because I don't want you guys to buy these pants and do this tip and then go and ruin them. But if you run your hand on the inside of the leg and use your other hand to pull on the leather, you can grab the fabric on the inside and you can separate. You can feel that there's two layers. There's a fabric layer and then you have the leather patch that's on the inside of your knee to prevent like rubbing or heat burn on a motocross bike. So I actually go through the razor blade and I cut along the seam all the way around which fully removes that leather patch. It doesn't change the look of the pants, especially if it's all black like these pants. So mom, dad, if you're seeing this, help them out. The layers split, go carefully. I cut in the middle, so when I fully separate it, I cut a little slice with a razor blade and I know I'm not cutting the inner liner. I'll slowly work around to the seam and just slowly, Why I go very that? careful. What? Why do you do that? Because it's lighter, like it's just a big leather oh, patch. So okay. We don't need it just riding bikes. For burn? Yeah, see, you don't need that. Since you have these pants, I'll put you in the other pant. The moto pants are a little more baggy. The bike specific pants is the one I actually ride, ride in all the time, and that's because they're slimmer on the legs all the way down. Let's just go ahead and uh, let's put the race pants, let's put the bike pant on right now. And then we'll show you the difference. Can you untie my shoes? These feel so much better than the other ones. I wish I put these ones on first. Why do they feel better? They just feel like they fit me better. Like, it doesn't feel so baggy and weird. These are the Fly Bicycle Kinetic Pant. That's my buckle, not my butt. All right, so we got the full row, whoa. Okay, so another tip, just right there, seeing her do that. If you wear goggles, I know a lot of people don't wear goggles, but if you do, I see this all the time. Take your goggles off. Don't just pull your helmet off over time. How do I get them off? Come on. <laughs> you get yeah, back <laughs> first. I say that because if your goggles are on the helmet and every time you put them on, when you slide your helmet on, the goggles push down your forehead like this, right? Well, over time, what you're doing is 
your forehead is sliding on the foam like this, and this foam, no matter what the brand is, this foam is only glued onto the rubber frame of the goggle. So you're gonna start pulling that foam away from the frame, and then you're gonna ruin your goggles. So don't leave your goggles on your helmet and go put it all on at once. A couple times, probably ain't gonna hurt it, but I promise you, over time, that over and over sliding down your forehead is gonna slowly rip that foam right off your goggles. These are the fly racing goggles. Oh, they're called. All right, get up with your new red kit. Let's see. I what feel you got. so much better in this one. I feel like I'm ready to just smoke all the moms. <laughs> Watch out! Like this jersey doesn't go with this pant. Oh. I like to mix and match a little bit. <laughs> fly makes so many different uniforms, and I've been with them so long. It's nice that I just can ride whatever I want, I can ride whatever color. Obviously you guys see it, I'm always in a different color, but this is the Fly Racing Evo jersey. And like I said, it's the kinetic bicycle pant. So Kelsey, tell me about your kit. Um, This one feels just, I don't know how, like is the jersey different? Well, this jersey is like their highest in. I was gonna say, it feels like way more comfortable. Yeah. But the pants feel like, ah. the pants feel like I'm wearing, um, not so baggy in the knees. It's it doesn't bunch up around your knees. Obviously, like, I wear knee pads. A lot of people wear pads under their pants. The bicycle pants still allows so much room for pads underneath. This you, feels like I'm wearing, like, um, like Lululemon joggers. <laughs> Just a little more loose. Just, like, no, joggers. Thing. But we talk about... In other videos, we always talk about rotational weight for our wheels, right? So when we're building up a bicycle, we want light tires and all this and that. You got, you want to have light weight on your legs too. So lighter pants, it's crazy to think. But if you have heavy pants, your legs aren't going to want to spin as good. <laughs> your legs aren't going to want to spin as fast, right? So if we have a lighter pant, nice and slim, everything moves, everything moves free. We're gonna get out there and smoke all the moms. <laughs> All your class, but the moms do. <laughs> Everyone has a different preference for shoes, so we're not even gonna go over shoes. I run the Afton casual look. I like the free ride, the real BMX. -y. This is my style. I think this is way more edgy and BMX. I know a lot of people wear the dancing tap shoes nowadays. I used to wear them as well, but um, I hated it for so long. But I'm all about the Aftons. They're more comfy, not being so snug. I like tighten them up pretty tight, but not being so snug and tight around my foot. I feel like my foot actually moves a little more, so I have less chances of like coming unclipped if I break form or anything like that. So, but that's everybody else's preference. So we won't go into shoes. Gloves. Let me check you out. Why'd you go black? Look at the black, and I got black. Like that looks good. It does look good, but how good would? No, no, see, no. See, no. why I don't like it is there's brown. The, well, this is a different glove. Yeah, this, see? I just grabbed This looks glove. good. Let me know in the comments if you think the black with this looks yeah, good. Yeah, what do you guys like better? Do you like the black to red to black? Or what if it's just red to... Because I like my sleeves to match my gloves. So it's like one long extension. Unless I wore, like Nashville, I was in all black. And I just did a pop of red gloves. And yeah. that's, I'll switch it up when it comes to that. See, but I, I like, like it all. I like this. You see how loose these are yeah. for Kels? They're obviously too big, you know? So I see kids quite often that have bigger gloves. But I get it. Sometimes maybe that's just the only gloves you got. And that's cool. But if you have the chance to go and, and fit some nice new gloves. So they're the same size. But look how much tighter. This is how... I run a size nine, a medium nine. So nice and tight. It doesn't bunch up. You don't want it to bunch up on your hand because if it's too loose, yeah. You know, see how much she has right on her palm. Luckily, these are the Fly Racing light gloves, and they're pretty thin, anyways. And uh, I have sweaty hands, so I always have to wear gloves. Like that's not going gloveless right. is not an option for me. And plus, if you fall on an asphalt turn, the gloves are gonna get shredded. At least that first impact, it's gonna rip this layer of skin and probably get in your palm but you want this first layer to take the blunt of it and it's probably gonna rip a big hole in the palm if you see the camera shaking it's because Willow's grabbing it <laughs> <laughs> so yeah mine like I said I'm five six I don't know how big my hands are but I wear a medium which is a size not oh oh thanks honey 
But hey, big gloves are better than no gloves, right? Gloves are pretty easy, but it always feels better Ooh. having a little bit thinner, uh, thinner material in your palm. If you go for the stuff, it's got all the pads and they're gonna protect you a lot more. I really want a good feel on my handlebars, so I like to run a nice thin glove because every fall, your hands are gonna be the first thing that hits the ground, at least you hope they are, and uh, your gloves are probably gonna get toast anyways. Yes, you do want more protection. You don't wanna have a thick glove with a big thick palm because you just can't really hold onto the grips near as good. <sighs> Anything else? You got any more questions, newbie? I'm ready to go ride. I got all the tips. I'm ready to rock and roll. Cool, all right. Well, that's it. That's a wrap for this video. I hope it helped. It's cosmetic horsepower. You get out there on the track, you know you look good, look good, feel good. Do good. And do good. If you liked it, do me a favor, take a couple seconds, subscribe, hit that like button. It helps me share this to other riders and get the word out and it helps grow my page, which is greatly appreciated. And until next time, from my family to yours, we'll see you guys at the races. Peace. Subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next week. <laughs>